well, this is the 12th year I've done the show, which is amazing to me. And um, I, the last several years, I've been trying to introduce something new into my, my repertoire. And this past year, finally had the courage to try to do the figure in my style, or paint the figure in my style. And I, this is one of the pieces I was able to complete, and I'm super happy with it. No matter what I'm painting, I try to incorporate motion and movement into my pieces. Um, that's why it's easier for me to paint large because, you know, these big swirling motions. Um, and painting a static object like a city, that's not very easy to do. Um, to have it feel as though it's moving and alive and not a static, heavy object. And I've done a similar thing into the face here. The, the actual strokes of the paint evoke movement and motion. And it not only moves you around the composition, but it also, I mean, it stirs emotions and movement within you as a person, I, I hope, when, when, when you're viewing it. I enjoy playing with the two-dimensional space and making it feel uh, three-dimensional. My first drawing lessons as a child were drawing in perspective, and I've always been very interested in it. And I don't know if it, the interest came before the lessons or the interest became af it came after the lessons. That's one of the reasons I like to travel, is to see completely new architecture. And my last trip uh, was, was to the UAE and as a, for a residency program. And some of the structures would in no way be able to be constructed, especially in California with earthquakes. Some of the buildings were just phenomenal and, like I said, so unusual. A lot of glass, a lot of glass and shiny things, and then the desert, that really sparkles. Well, some of my favorite cities to paint are near water, just like San Francisco's near water. So some of the pieces all feature water and city and kind of, um, you know, play off of those different, totally different forms. And other times I'll focus in on, say, one building, like the Transamerica building, one of the paintings I have here. Um, kind of eliminating a lot of the detail around it and just really focusing in on that one building. Or um, the Chrysler building, also uh, in New York, I've featured that in a painting. And almost stripped away all the, the buildings around it and just focused in on that, although you know where it is. It's really about that one building. What I like most about Celebration of Fine Art, I would say it's just the camaraderie here. All the artists are really, um, it's like a big community. And uh, so I enjoy seeing my friends that I've known for the past 12 years and meeting new ones, new, new artists. And I think that's one of the reasons people keep coming back is we have a lot of the people that have been here before, so you get to see the evolution that they're going through in their work, but also the new artists that are introduced keeps the show uh, fresh.